Welcome back, tubers. Um, while we're waiting to um, run the next boat, I reviewed the video of the run of the Jet Stepper, and I see that you have the Edward D. Wood, the object is not in the frame video. I left that video in the front part just for the commentary. I have another battery. I will make sure that it is within the frame and you can see it run. It runs pretty darn good. It does want to torque a little bit, but uh, that may be part of the fun. Anyway, to the Redbird, we talked about the changes I made. I'm going to use this gigantic test turn fin and... Well, I should say, that's a, that's a big old boat, bolt sticking out of my boat. Um, this is just a test for the self-riding thing. That's just stuck in with a little bit of hot glue that'll pop right out in no problem. The last bolt I had in there wasn't heavy enough, so I'm going to see if this is heavy enough. If it is, I'll put some um, lead shot and uh, epoxy in here and make a nice thing of it, but... We'll see how that works. So uh, I'm going to give this a run before Wayne shows up. And then it'll be the Wayne show for a while, but I'm going to definitely let you see the uh, Jet Stepper run. It's, it's getting there, folks. It's getting there. Okay, until a little while, Jet out. Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome once again to beautiful Lake Poway. Look at the water level. It's coming up faster and faster and faster. Um, I do not have a fishing pole today. I do have the rescue rigger out there ready to go. Um, its radio has been resolved, as have other radio issues on other boats. I'm about to attempt to run this thing with an ill-fitting hatch, but it does have the... Uh, the 2300 kV small outrunner with the bigger prop. Last time I ran this with a 3500 kV motor and it didn't do as well on this prop, this 28 millimeter prop, as it did on a smaller 24 millimeter or so. So maybe by dropping the kV, I can get away with this prop. I'm gonna be real careful because Again, I don't have a fishing pole. Uh, the Wayne show will be happening later on, so he may have a fishing pole. So my goal will be to stay very close to our very high shore. Look how much this has come up. This is amazing. Let's hope this is going the right direction. The secret is to keep this at the FTZ, that's the Frisbee transition zone. This goes from a boat to a Frisbee real easy. So I'm, here's full trigger. That's not bad. This particular one runs a little nose low because of the deep strut. But you see that? That's not bad. It's getting a little torque. I'm getting some torque. You see that torquing over? <laughs> you know what? Maybe that little $5 motor. Yeah, I think there's six. $5.99. I think that $5 motor might be the ticket for this thing because it's right there at the FTZ, the Frisbee Transition Zone. It's slowing down a bit. We're going to check temps. Oh, it's slowing down a bit because I'm dragging lots of crap. This is pretty successful. The torque thing is kind of fun. 
see it torquing off. <laughs> Watch it coming at you. See how it torques? Whoa. We're getting close. This thing's. Up. Oh. Hit some seaweed. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to jet out. I'm going to take this up, check temps. I'll report back. Okay, boys and girls, here's the post mortem. Motor temperatures. Oh, I don't have my temperature gauge, my thermometer with me, but. It's only slightly higher than body temperature. If it's 100 degrees, I'd be surprised. 18-amp uh, speed control is room temperature. 500 milliamp battery pack is slightly warm, but it's been sitting in the sun for a bit, too. So, all in all... I'm going to call this a success and say we're 95% there. The torque issue of the Outrunner <laughs> is a bit of a problem. You can see the hull wants to torque over a little bit. But you know what? Maybe that's part of the skill of learning to drive this thing is dealing with the torque. Um, so until then, jet out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -oh. Oh, it, it just takes that proper while to hook up. This is the Mini Cat Racing Hydroplane. It's like 15 or 16 inches long. It's running a little, uh, little 2500 kV brushless motor, and Wayne just put a detongued 632 on it, and I think it was running better before. Are you sure this is a 3S battery, Wayne? Yes. Okay. I think it was running better I before. It on 3S, I assume it probably is a 3S. Yeah. But it seemed to run better before, don't you think? Oh, oh, okay. I know you ran it on 2S and it was kind of, was doggy. Well, the handling looks real tame. Like it's not doing anything weird. Is that you slowing down or it? Me. Oh, okay. Did you see the unusual jet out? Wayne is learning about pop cavitation. Ooh, Try not to. Well, something broke. Huh? Something broke. Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> Jet out. And I'll just edit out this very front part. Okay, boys and girls. Here we are. We're going to run the Redbird. We have some spectators, and they are going to watch this. Now, I have to be careful because I'm wearing the wrong shoes to walk on all these little round rocks so I don't fall down. I have to be cautious. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I'm wearing my Clint Eastwood shirt. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm hoping this will be in the frame this time. Ready?
The corner is much better now. All, uh, not nearly as bad as it did before. Oh, that's, true. that's a function of the propeller. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Self-writing. <laughs> I can flip it upside down and it will self-write. Want to see that again? Okay, here we go. Hey, watch this. The self-writing works. Hey, watch this. Let me get up on step. I, th I think I have some weeds. I have, some yes, I have weeds on the propeller. There we go, turned them off. So there's a slower speed there while it's still up on step. Full trigger! <laughs> full trigger, full trigger, full trigger! <laughs> You're quite welcome. Now that was the goal for this boat. Not to set any records, to be fun. <laughs> to be whimsical, to be self-riding, hello self-riding. Hey, watch this! <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> now, is that entertaining? Oh, now it's going to rewrite. Well, it's right side up, but <laughs> when it's still, it lists a little bit. Yeah. You see, there's a big old stainless steel bolt hanging out. I'll replace that with lead. Lead and epoxy. Lead shot and epoxy, but. It runs so much better. I'll show you what I did. I'll show you what I did. When I built this thing, I looked at the photos on the H&M website and the guy had a photo of a turn fin. So I kind of copied that and, and it didn't work so well. So just oh, for, for S and G's, I said, let's throw a big one on. So I will eventually make a carbon fiber one of appropriate size, but that made all the difference in the world. Wow. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, until next time, jet out. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, here's the post-mortem on the Redbird. The hottest thing is the darn carrying case sitting in the sun. The battery, uh, a little more than then uh, body temperature, I'd say no more than 110, probably 105, 100, somewhere around there. So it's not really hot. Motor, ice cold, 40 amp speed control, ice cold. Everything's good. Turn fin worked good. The, uh, that's how much weight I need. And when I put it in, it'll be a little further out still. So that's enough just barely enough weight to get this thing to uh, self right. And by the way, I'm running an Airsoft 1.2 amp hour uh, 2S cell. And this is, uh, what is it? 25 to 50 C. So 
but that's enough for this little setup. This is a 30 amp setup, so it's it's nothing. I like these small setups. It's fun to run and it's a hoot. So I'm going to jet out until Wayne shows up, at which time I'll prepare up the uh, jet stepper for one more run. I'll check this this video for camera angle in the interim. Until then, a jet out. Are notorious. Okay, boys and girls, uh, I was going to have Wayne videotape this, but he's on a important business call right now. He actually has a sailboat that's down in <coughs> St. Croix, and uh, he's talking to a potential buyer. So, I'm hoping we have this at a better angle, and we will see this thing go. So, if this is not a good angle, you'll just have to wait till next week or take my word for it. So here we go, boys and girls, the jet stepper. I didn't mean to hit that coop. It's a little out of control when you hit it wide open to begin with. See, this thing is right at the FRZ. That's the frisbee, the frisbee zone, where it goes from boat to frisbee. Whoa! See what I. I Remember I told you it did submarine acts before? I think that is, boys and girls, the limit of the amount of power this little hull can stand. <laughs> See the, 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 the sponson, the sponson. See it twisting as it, as it torques? <laughs> See that, the left side, that would be the port side, <laughs> raising out of the water. Left and port, both have four letters, right? But it turns pretty good, acceleration's good. It's a little hard to keep on the water, but that's part of the fun. It, it takes skill to drive it. I think this is pretty close to where I want it. It's close to the Frisbee zone, but not quite. This doesn't go to the danger zone, it goes to the frisbee zone. <laughs> That's about the 50 foot race course we're looking at, what I'm doing right there. This handles a little short course real well. This would be a hoot to race on a little short course like that. <laughs> See it torquing up? You got to give it linear throttle, otherwise it torques over real bad. This is on a 500 milliamp two cell pack. In fact, a several year old 500 milliamp two cell pack. They're getting good runtime. The, the torque is, is something you gotta learn to deal with. It's finally running at what I think it's 
top potential. Any more power and it would become a Frisbee. That's got the mask power like, in. like that. <laughs> okay, until later, boys and girls, jet out.